Hello, my wonderful dear from brothers and sisters. So, greetings to you all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy Wednesday and happy new day. This is an early morning broadcast and a very quick one at that. There's a situation at hand here, and this information is coming all the way from Brunei State, uh, Medugli. Um, the issue why I want to bring this news to my people is just let my people know the reason why the insecurity in the northeast, northwest, north central have not been abated and can never be abated. You remember the word of Mazen Namdi Kano, he made it clear to everyone that a time shall come when these people will be busy looking for their friends to kill while foreigners are busy taking over their land. There's a very heavy tragedy and cry and the tears in the land of Ebronu as 11 lodgers, all these people where they fall in trees, all these uh, people where they fall timbers, in the forest, Boko Haram don't massacre all of them. They send them to, to judgment without trial. What does that signify? This one, now they just through confirmation of the word of the, 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 the one that the, the, the Chukokia Biyama, the Almighty One, have sent to liberate his people. But you know the this uh, um, uh, Igbo added that uh, that says that only a man had it in Alan Naya, a prophet are not being honored in his or her own uh, uh, village or community. That's exactly the point. Because if these people these people could have listened to Mazen Namdekano years back, I don't think uh, we will be having all this kind of uh, confusion we are having. They scattered their own area. And they come to the southeast and created insecurity, all in the name, all in the guise to blackmail the IPOP, to sabotage the movement, and to make the international community see the IPOPs as non-democratic, which we which we are not. And even the international community are even tired of their propaganda because there's one uh, documentary I watched the other day by a very respected white man, and he keeps saying that uh, we know all that is happening in Nigeria, and we know. The one that is true and the one that this government is sponsoring. They know all these things. They just keep calm. Simply because they have seen that, according to them, they said the blood of the black man does not matter to them. That is why they allow all this impunity being happening. Because if you, the government, the government of the US, UK, Canada, I mean, in the whole world, should show concern on what is happening in uh, between Israel and the Hamas, then it means that the Nigerians, the Biafrans, and even other African countries does not matter. The Ambazonians have been on a loggerhead with the Cameroon government for a very long time now, almost seven to eight good years. People die on daily basis. The government of the day, and also the so-called United Nations, African Union, Commonwealth, ECOWAS, and the rest of them, they turn their face. This is the problem we are facing. The only thing they are interested in our land is the raw materials that come from this very particular continent, Africans. They are not care, even if we like self. Let we all engage ourselves in a war and kill all the whole Africans. It is, their, it is to their own benefit. A lesson. It is right time the Africans unite together to know that the people they call their friends are not their friends but their enemies. Who only, the only prey they are doing now is just to make sure that the whole Africans economy collapse so that they will come and take over. Imagine the whites. Any medicine that they they, 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 they make or the manufacture finish, it's only in African soil or in the body of Africans, they will test it. If you kill, let it kill the Africa. They will not use their own. Our African uh, children and our African brothers and sisters have turned to rap, rats that they use to test uh, 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 medicines. Sometimes they will manufacture the one that will reduce the quantity or number of the Africans, because before 2015, the Africans will topple the whole world in population, whether they like it or not. And they are doing everything humanly possible to make sure that that does not happen. Because they see Africans as inferior. But our raw materials is what they need. Yet, our so-called leaders, they don't want to learn, or even want to know that these people, they are the ones that are supposed to be doing Shakara, not them being uh, uh, invited in every summit. How many summit? have been uh, 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 organized in the African soil? The answer is zero. But going for that, all, all those submits is for business and raw materials and how to minimize 
the 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 the, 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 the what they call it the climate change which africans have the solution to it but rather instead of them to come here they will invite you to go there you spend the the common wealth of the nation you even go there you also will spend the common wealth of the nation lodging in the hotels with all your whole entourage complete one country you will carry them to 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 to, to submit while people back home are dying of hunger look at what is happening in other african countries whether i think i think that is in zambia or namibia that the president come out and said now no any foreign trips for all all emphasis on all including him the president because they want to make their country a better one in another country whether namala will be waiting waiting be that country he said that no more buying of expensive suvs let us gather together and build our nation that is people who their brains are working nigeria is in hunger nigeria are dying of poverty the so-called uh, ministers house of reps and senators are busy uh, uh, acquiring 160 million naira SUV, not even locally made, but imported. 160 million naira that is enough to liberate 160 million Nigerians out of poverty. They're waiting to remain. If these people know something, these people really want the best for Nigeria. Or it's uh, uh, the people that they are ruling. They spent 57.6 billion naira on acquiring SUVs for almost 350, uh, 336 lawmakers. That, that money is enough to liberate all the whole Nigerian youth, even the ones way they're abroad. They tell them, come back home. Come and take your own share. Go and do what? Make sure you make use of it. Whether you even pay to the government, maybe yearly, you will pay such an amount of money, but let us support you and support your dreams. No, they will not do that. Martin Nam Decano, in conclusion, you are indeed a, 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 a messiah that they refuse to honor. Police don't kill six suspected uh, uh, bandit leaders in Castina State. Well, my people, I beg you, we don't have much time to waste. <laughs> I've already taken much of your time as, uh, trying to explore and explain things. Well, please let us read it between the lines. Like this message, share it, comment on it, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. At the comment section, please help me write, Martin Nam Decano, you are indeed a hero. No fewer than 11 lodgers were reportedly massacred and all their private parts, including their health self, separated from their body. On Monday, by the so-called suspected Boko Haram insurgents near Bali, a remote village in Dambua, local government area of Bruno State. Okuta News learns that the incident occurred at 5 p.m. and the bodies of the victims were recovered at the scene by the vigilantes. According to the news, Daily Trust, the local vigilantes group found the victims in a pool of their own blood with all their body parts in pieces and have been buried according to Islamic rites. What a tragedy. A vigilante said, yes, six persons were recovered from the scene yesterday, being Monday evening, and they were disembarked. They found, okay, they were found in a pool of their blood because all their body had been mutilated into what nobody can explain. We have buried them this evening according to the Islamic rites, although five other people were missing. We don't know if they escaped or were abducted. Another top member of the vigilante who witnessed the incident said the lodgers were working at their Chaco site when the suspected Boko Haram members suddenly surrounded them. The source said they came on camels and surrounded us. They were like 15. I ran very fast and they ran after me. Unfortunately, I'm familiar with the terrain. That was how I escaped. Thank God for your life. Later, we mobilized and went to the scene. Behold, six bodies were on the site, but we didn't hear from the other fires. This morning, an additional five bodies were recovered. So we have a total of 11 cops so far. The soldiers and the vigilantes are currently in the area doing what? Things that could have been prevented before it happens. That is Nigeria for you. Who cares less for their own citizens, which way forward? 
Police operatives in Casinas uh, on uh, Saturday have killed three suspected bandits or Boko Haram leaders in the Jibia, local government area of the state. The spokesman for the state police command, Abubakar Aliu, who confirmed the news in a statement on, to on Tuesday in Casena, said several other bandits escaped from the scene with gun shot wounds. He asked that the operation was carried out with the members of a vigilante group in the area at 10.30 a.m. on Saturday morning. The spokesman said the joint patrol team, upon reaching the Wakare area, clashed with some suspected kidnappers who opened fire on them, but the officers vehemently returned fire, forcing the terrorists to flee into the nearby bush. While combining the scene and surrounding bushes, bodies of three neutralized suspected kidnappers as well as one operational motorcycle of the bandits were recovered. The bodies of the neutralized suspects were later identified as those of one Bala Wuta, a notorious bandit leader terrorizing Jibia, local government area and its environs, Dogo Nasahura and Hassan Bakuru. These are the names of those ones who are do what who have been recovered. Efforts to arrest the fleeing suspects are ongoing. Anyway, my wonderful people, now hear me, I go take bar break. And I go hear my voice again, because this one is just early morning breakfast, where I bring comfort. And this one is supposed to be a must watch for all families. Anyway, and by my brother, when you watch finish, remember at the comment section, type, Mazin Namde Kano is indeed a hero. And you shall remain blessed. Well, my wonderful people, have a nice day. May the good Lord continue to bless us, all the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I'll be right back again with another blog post. Have a nice day. Bye for now. Kemesiano.